Good day. Welcome to Partakers Wednesday Worship on the 2nd of November 2011. Let's start with prayer. A very good place to start, I'm sure you agree. Father, Son and Holy Spirit, we praise you, lift our hands and give you glory and honour. We bless you for calling us to be your holy people. Amen. Continuing on, we now have a song. Today it is Abigail Miller singing, Lord, I must be yours. The Apostle Paul, writing in Philippians chapter 2, verse 3 and 4, Do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit, but in humility consider others better than yourselves. Each of you should look not only to your own interests, but also to the interests of others. And finally, the Apostle Peter, writing in 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 5 to 6, All of you, Clothe yourselves with humility toward one another, because God opposes the proud, but gives grace to the humble. Humble yourselves, therefore, under God's mighty hand, that he may lift you up in due time. Those verses probably highlight what those who call themselves Christians, or the Lord's people, are to be and do. It is their hallmark, the hallmark of humility, looking to others first. Contrast those values to those of the 21st century society, a society where the prevalent attitude is there are no other people, the order is me, me and more me. I am far more important and higher than anyone else. This is individualism, a narcissistic individualism where the individual's importance is placed higher than all others. An individualism which is imbued with self-reliance and personal independence. Even when help and compassion are offered, so often there are strings attached and hoops to be jumped through such as, if you do this, we'll do this for you. That's the view in 21st century Western countries, such as the USA, the UK and Australia. Sadly, it is not just within society that this exists, but this attitude also exists within the church and amongst Christians. 
those who would call themselves the Lord's people. How opposite is that view compared to the view of Peter and Paul in the Bible readings? It is as if we are denying the basic rule of compassion and mercy, which dictates that we, as Christians, the Lord's people, are to be serving others because those others are also humans created in the image of God. They are loved by God and therefore should be loved unconditionally by those who proclaim to be the Lord's people, the church. Denying that basic need to others is pure, unadulterated greed, selfishness, and places others below our own selves. Individualism within the church lends itself to hypocritical behaviour and attitudes which are inconsistent with scripture and behaviour. Individualism, where you as an individual are placed at the front of the queue, is not loving others and is not considering others higher than yourself. It certainly could not be construed as serving other people to always place your own desires above all others. There is an old acronym, J-O-Y, Jesus first, others second, yourself last. True joy. So, as we live our lives, let us be determined to be countercultural, to be opposite of the society we live in. We are to love and serve others others, being willing to listen to them and giving them practical support when we can. Now a time where I put before you a couple of questions for you to ponder and think about before we continue in prayer. Perhaps you could write them down for later. Question 1. In what areas of my life do I usually put myself before other people and sin against them? Question 2. What impact could I make on my church and local community if I was more willing to serve and practically love others rather than being served and supported by them? Let's have a think. We now close with prayer. O gracious and holy Father, give us wisdom to perceive you, diligence to seek you, patience to wait for you, eyes to behold you, a heart to meditate upon you, and a life to proclaim you. Through the power of the Spirit of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Thanks for joining us on Partakers Wednesday Worship. See you again real soon.